Hi, welcome to Pissed Nerds. Um, I'm going to be doing a, a little how-to guide today. Um, basically, I had a person that I spoke to on the forums uh, when I was asking for suggestions for, for videos to do. He said that he quite often gets asked uh, by people, how do I swap my graphics card out? How do I get, you know, what do I do to put in a new graphics card? So, you know, as, uh, as he requested, um, I thought I'd just uh, pull out one of my old rigs uh, and use it as a, an example using um, some of the various different bits of uh, equipment I've got kicking around. Um, now then, this guide is for AGP only. Um, AGP is uh, an older technology, um, but there will still be a lot of people with those machines out there. Mine is still AGP based. The newer ones is known as PCI Express. Um, the one that you tend to use the most will be 16 lanes or 16x, 16 time, whichever you want to call it. Um, basically, uh, the older one is known as AGP, and um, easy way to deter uh, easy way to find out which one it is in your system, because as you can see, there's a, a number of different uh, different slots here, expansion slots, they're known as. Um, basically, the bus here, um, these white ones that you can see are what's known as PCI. Um, it's an old 32-bit architecture. Um, there are longer ports, but you're more than likely never going to see one of them. But uh, there's a longer one that comes out to something like here, and that's known as PCI-X. Now, that's not to be confused with PCI-E. So PCI-X stands for um, Extended, uh, which ba uh, basically it's the 64-bit extended version of PCI instead of PCI Express, which is the uh, graphics card and, uh, well, it's not just the graphics card, it, it, it's actually um, an all-purpose bus used to, it's been developed to replace good old PCI, because you can plug anything into it, there's various different um, lane versions that you can have, you can have uh, time, you know, 1x, 4x, 8x, and um, uh, 16x. Um, th uh, with this video, uh, way to find out which one is your AGP slot. If you're grading a graphics card, it's going to be the one that your graphics card is currently plugged into. Um, if you're uh, if you just install if you just install a brand new system, you can easily uh, well new to you uh, system. You can identify it by the fact that it will be of a different colour to the PCI, and it will be slightly offset. As in basically, it'll be. It won't be in it won't be in a in, in a row in what's known as a, being aligned with the others, and generally it'll have a little tab at the back of uh, of, of the actual one. Um, it also tends to be the part that's closest to the CPU. Um, but, you know that's because of the lo it's the traditional location where you tend to put the uh, the graphics card. Now then. If you, uh, once you've identified where you, you know, your graphics card is, or if, uh, if to remove it, what you need to do is this little tab at the back, that locks it into place, which stops accidental removal. Um, it's also meant to design to try and reduce what's known as um, electronic creep. Now, uh, creep is basically, as you're using it, the, uh, the actual materials in there will become hot and will expand. When you, you shut your system down, or if it becomes under less strain, less amount of load, it will cool down and it will contract, it will get smaller. Uh, it's this expansion and contraction which eventually just forces it to, to creep upwards. Um, it, this was a major problem with PCI slots, especially because there's no locking mechanism. Um, but even with a locking mechanism, it still happens, um, albeit at a reduced, uh, reduced amount. Now, to be able to pop the uh, the card out, what you'll need to do is you just press down on the tab, and it will just push one end of it up. Now, some of them aren't always the push down type tabs. Some of them are ones that you just got to pull to one side to unhook itself. Once it's done, obviously unscrewing the uh, the holding screw, just pull that out. Um, and as you can see there, that little white bit here, that there is uh, the little latch I was talking about and what it does it slots into this little notch here on the graphics card this little one here and uh, that's what's used to keep it in place now then um, I've got an old graphics card, it's an old GeForce 4 but it's 
you know, suitable to show you just how to do it. Now then, all you do, um, major point to be careful of here, you uh, you might find that, you know, each computer is different. This one's a very open plan um, case, um, which means it's easy to put things in, lots of room, and I can, it can fit larger than normal boards. Now, many graphics cards um, might be substantially larger than the actual space you've got to put it in. Because if, if I give you an example here, you've got, you know, as you can see, that is considerably longer than the other one. And that, uh, that can mean that it, you might not be able to put your card into there. So always be careful when you buy them to make sure you know roughly how much space you're dealing with. Otherwise, you might end up with a bit of a bit of a wasted uh, wasted card because you can't fit it into your system. Now then, what you need to do when slotting in, uh, you know, popping in the card. This is if it's brand new or if it's. Well, actually, I'll take this opportunity just to show you what the port the uh, port is like. As you can see, I'll try to catch it there without actually blotting it out with the light. Um, usually, it will be a different colour to your PCI slots. PCI slots tend to be. Um, white in colour, sometimes maybe black. Um, the AGP slot tends to be uh, more common than not. It'll be kind of muddy, greyish brown colour. This in here, it's red, which doesn't exactly help when the motherboard is red as well, and it kind of blends in. So it's a bit of a pain this one. Uh, which I did have a different colour for it, but yeah, I've got to work with what you got. Um, basically, what you need to do is these little notches here. You need to make sure they align with the, uh, the there's little um, little blocks of plastic in there, and you need to make sure it aligns up when you're slotting it in. And then you just once you've got it comfortably in at the top, you then just push down until you hear that click. Now that click means it has locked it in place with that little tab. And all you're left doing is just screwing in the uh, the, hold, uh, the holding screw, and it's in place. Um, the other thing to to be uh, to pay attention to is in in the top corner here, um, on the other end to where the uh, the actual um, display ports are, and this will be basically facing on the inside. You might notice that it'll have one of these. This is what's known as a female Molex connector, and this will be soldered onto the uh, the back roughly round about here and what that means is that it requires additional power to be able to allow the graphics card to to have the you know the additional grunt to be able to pump out all those lovely pixels now what you need to do is from one of these snake like cables is to find a spare male molex connector and then all you need to do is just uh, when it's on here, is to push it in and connect it up. Um, you may find that these the little pins inside can be very awkward to get in, so it may take a few uh, few attempts. Don't put too much pressure uh, when you know. Don't exert too much force, otherwise you might force it off the uh, the actual PCB, so the, you know the actual board that all the mother uh, all the uh, graphics card components are put onto. So gently pop it in. Just give it enough so it gets into place. Uh, many uh, many graphi uh, graphics cards will actually tell you if it's not connected up as well once you've installed the, the appropriate drivers. Um, and that's all there is to physically inserting the, uh, the actual card. Not a difficult thing to do. Um, quite easy. Uh, it's a very good way of upgrading the, uh, the ability of your PC to be able to play those fantastic games. Um, and it's, uh, it's just, a, just a case of popping that in. You might might need to pay attention to the fact that some of them are what's known as double uh, double sized, where basically they'll take up two bays worth of uh, size. They'll only use one one socket on the board, but they could take up two actual bays, the known as in here, which means you may you may lose the functionality of a couple of uh, ports that are in the system. And if you've got a small system like me, which is the uh, the um, XPC shuttle, it might not even fit in there. So please always be careful when you're uh, when you're putting your system together and buying new equipment for your computer. 
try to make sure as much as you can that it will fit in there. You don't want to be sat opening up your system and realising you can't slot your card in. Um, right, okay. Um, relatively easy guide. Uh, if you want to do any comments, just visit www.pissednerds.com and I'll see you later. Bye!